Hello everyone! So, I am Princess. And I am Nicole. And we are going to be your hosts for today. To all our in-person worshippers, hello nanay, hello mga titas and titos. Good morning sa inyong atanan. And to the siblings of Nicole, hi, hi there. Hello there. <laughs> hi there. Welcome to GCF. Welcome to GCF. So, today is what, Nick? Today is Thanksgiving Sunday. Wow, yeah. today is Thanksgiving Sunday. And what are we going to do? We were gonna read some messages or like one-liner Thanksgiving from those people that we have message. But to those na wala pa na na message, you can um, write in the comment section below um, a one-liner. For example, I am thankful for my partner princess here. Nox, I and know, you can right? It in our <laughs> comment section so that we can read it later during our before our worship service starts. Yes, you know what, Nix? When we message them about the mechanics and all that, one liner lang. Pero nga ano nag MMK sila nga yeah, tanan. Because we know that tanan gitban kita. We have a lot to be thankful yes, for. Yes, and but. We are going to read na lang your point or your yeah your messages. Tani short lang so okay. I know nga nakamask ang mga uh, tao there is a room so bom, but I can see your smiles. You ha, uh, what uh, what are the things that you are thankful for? Yes, Nanai. What are you thankful for, Nai? <laughs> thank you. Dumo dumo. Good ya. As in, thank you. Good so much, Nanay, for that. Okay, next, let's start. Let's read. Okay, let's remind Danai. Um, to those who are in here, in person worshiper, who haven't submitted their um one liner, you can comment it in our live video on Facebook. Yes. So that, uh, later we can read it. Yeah, boy. So, okay, I, I will start now, Pring. Yes, okay. okay. We will read the first Thanksgiving from Tita Jen. Genevieve, yeah. uh, I am thankful. Humble, yeah. I am thankful for the salvation, the assurance, and confidence of eternal life in the presence of Jesus Christ. Wow, beautiful. Kama thankful, kama na praying. Of course. <laughs> later. <laughs> yeah, later na lang na. <laughs> okay, yeah. Thankful si Tita Jen and for uh, Nang San. Nang Sanilin, I am thankful for God for His everyday mercies and amazing grace and love that sustains me and my family and the church in daily basis. Shout out to Jen Nang San, Shakeys, <laughs> Shakeys, <laughs> thankful for the Shakeys. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Are you laba laba? Good morning. Yeah. Oh, this is from Yes, Manang Nicole from Doha. Doha, na siya subong no? Doha Qatar. Okay. Yeah. Let's read. Fresh from Doha. I yeah. remembered Nicole Kabaklado Hambalya. I remembered it was April 20, 2019 that I attended the Sunday service for the first time. Since that day, I never felt like a visitor. They treated me as if already I'm a family and I told myself, this is the fate family. And I, this is the fate family that God has sent me. I am very much blessed to have my GCF family from the Sunday service to the growth group sessions, prayer gatherings, out-of-town youth ministries, uh, and more. Looking forward to more years of prayer together in God's Word. All the praises and glory to our Lord. See you soon, Faith Family. Happy Thanksgiving Sunday to all. We miss you, Nang Nico. Laba laba. Gajang imo one liner. <laughs> yeah, okay. Hindi ka naman pagpungan. Okay. So, nag nakalabot na tasa ano sa foreign country. Let's go back, Anay, sa Himamailan. Shout out to mga GCFers. Yes, yeah, shout out to inyo. Okay, from no Nong PJ, I am thankful for my GCF Himamailan team. Okay, we are also thankful sa inyo. And for Nong J Dexter, I am thankful for all the opportunities that God has given to me and also for my authentic family. Wow. Bakana. 
<laughs> okay, what about kay Tita Doll? Tita Doll! Ay, si Tita Doll kali! Okay. Ako na lang marid kay Tita Doll. Sige. We are thankful, truly grateful, and abundantly blessed to belong to GCF Iloilo. Personally, GCF Iloilo is not only family to us, but a home to my son, Joe Darcy. Naks, happy, belated happy belated birthday sa iyo mo. Nong Jars, nong Darcy, kung diin ka man sa buong, belated happy birthday sa iyo mo, Nong. Madamo, may arap, a continuation. Okay. Madamo nga salamat sa support, Pastor Mark, wala si Pastor Mark, Miss yes. Mira, yes, and Ms. everyone. Mira. Praising God for all His kindness Amen. from Tita Dal. Yes, thanks for that, Tita Dal. And for Anne Camille's song, I am thankful for the relationship dot 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 that I have <laughs> that with. Okay, <laughs> sino I had? Sino I had your relationship that I have with Jesus. Jesus. So, you have blind item. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so from Nang Anna. Braga. Di yun sinang Ana Subo. Behind the camera. Oh, oh behind yeah. the camera. Okay, anong, gin, anong ginapasalamatan ni ng Ana? Thankful daw siya sa I am thankful for my growth group. So, wow. so sweet naman so nga sweet. growth group leader. Tani, amo mo na, tano. Ang growth group leader tayo, thankful man siya sa ato. Ah, do, 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 I am thankful to God for keeping me and my family safe. Okay. Yes. Manang Mesh is a nurse, so mm-hmm. very thankful. And what about kay Tita Maripas kay song? Kay Tita Maripas song, shout out from Gimaras na si Gimaras. Tita. Uh, I am thankful for knowing God's words and faithfulness through my GCF family. I am happy to grow spiritually each day knowing they are around Willing to lead me and guide me in my spiritual journey. Nakaka-touch. Ah, so, wala na ako masabi next. Yeah. <laughs> and from Rika sa Rojas, to, uh, to our Rojas family there, Hambal ni Rika, I am thankful for God's fa- daily unfailing grace in my life. From that are everything He provides me to live with and to live for. Wow, so deep. Beautiful, <laughs> so deep. Okay. okay. Thanks, Rika. I'm going to uh, read from Jezebel. Hi, Jezebel. Hello. I am thankful for still holding on to his plan. Still so, uh, holding on. Still holding on, Lydia. <laughs> and from Manu Jomar. I am <laughs> thankful for keeping my family safe always. So, hi, Tita. Hi, Mana. <laughs> Are you still there? Okay, okay, so. Okay, so. May pahabol ta. From may Manu Georgia. Okay. From Himamailan, Mangyapon. I am thankful that GCF family has become an instrument to draw me closer to God. Ako man, very thankful. Good kaya. Yeah, for the that's GCF right. GCF family. Okay, so I'm viewing here sa Aton Facebook Live. And please do, do not forget to type in or comment down what are the things that you are thankful for. Okay, we have a session. Karun, so, shout out now. And I think it's, it's time for time. us to continue. It's time, it's time, it's time. Once again, it's Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving Sunday, Sunday here at GCF Iloilo. And we welcome you all. We welcome our online viewers. Mm-hmm. We have 23 viewers. Wow, 23,000 Okay, viewers. may pahabol. Okay, in, I know, si Jello. Oh, Jello I am Jello. also oh, heartily Jello. grateful to have found new friends wow. who are the same age as me. Mm, wow. Same age. <laughs> In the Awana Philippines, Philippines Youth, Youth Ministry. Ministry. Okay, thanks for that, Jello. And to all our in person worshipers, welcome, Nanai. Hello, everyone here inside yes. the room. And I think it's time that next we will have to um, encourage everyone to join our weekly prayer gathering. Um, it is every Thursday, right, Princess? From what time? Yes. From 5 p.m. 
Yeah, 5 p.m. onwards. So it it is every Thursday, and here we pray for each other as a family. Um, we share our victories as well, answered prayers. Mm -hmm. And if we have something that we want to pray for, we want to share with our GCI family. We are here. We are here every Thursday to pray for you. That's right. So how can they send their prayer requests? They can send their prayer requests through text at zero nine two eight seven one two one eight. Three, three, or you can DM us, PM us on our social media accounts. But before that, let me remind you to please type in the word new yes. if you are a new viewer or yeah, you are a guest. Mm -hmm. And also to all our regular worshipers, viewers, every Sunday, do not forget to type in worshiping, worshiping from, from and then state your location. For yeah, example, so we can welcome you now. Yeah, so for, for example, example, worshiping from Guimaras, mm -hmm. the song family. Yeah, from Guimaras, worshiping from Guimaras. And then um, we, we want to interact with you as well as we want to encourage all our invites, our guests, mm -hmm. so that, that we are a family, na yes. hindi cold sa isa't isa. Yeah. We are a family that connects and we want to connect with you. So please type in the word new for new viewers or guests. Yes. And, and worshiping, worshiping from, from sa lahat ng mga regular viewers dyan. Yes, and even the new viewers can type the location kung sa yes, sila subong okay. go worship That's right. with us. Because what we know, we have a team that is ready and excited yeah. to welcome them. So mm -hmm. next. Okay, let's continue. So aside from prayer gathering, we also yeah. have a growth group. So what's a growth group? A growth group is a small group or a small church wherein you share lives together, you share food, you share stories, <laughs> cries, lahat ng mga inanakit nyo in the world, whatever. For sure, it's an accountability group. For short, it's us. <laughs> it's us, accountability group. Yeah. Wherein, um, aside from sharing these stories, these victories, the most important thing is that you share God's word. You study mm. together so that you grow together as um, sisters or brothers in Christ. That's right, Nix. And what is this special event for today? Yeah, aside from that, this is um, a Thanksgiving Sunday. Uh, later after the service, we are also going to welcome the new members of GCF Iloilo through the right hand of fellowship. And this will be um, preceded by testimonies from the new, uh, new GCFers, Princess here and Manong Jomar. That's right, Nix. I'm so thankful for... for everything that's going on with my life right now and okay let us not disconnect sa mga ano natin sa mga uh, friends here in the hall or in the room so please if you have something to be thankful for um, can you please raise your hand and we will we will ask you or you can share please <laughs> my love have something to be thankful for what are the things that you're thankful for today you know, wala sila guru kakape no. Muna nga. Sige na. What are the things that you're thankful for? Rest. Yes. <laughs> Rest. How about others? Ninya, what are you thankful for? Uh, ano daw? She's thank thankful that andito tayong yeah. lahat. Uh, <laughs> what about Daniel? <laughs> China. <laughs> Shy type. Okay. Can they nanay, nanay? Second attempt na ni Nai. <laughs> what are the things that you are thankful for? Very yes. That's right. Face to face. Wow. Yes, so, thank ya? you for that, Nanai, because I am reminded to remind others that we are having our Face to face, face fellowship, yes, yes, gathering. But before that, we have protocols to follow. Yeah. For example, you have to be, uh, you have to sign up first in our online forms before the Sunday next week, so that we can count you in and we can monitor the number of attendees, right? Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. And then present your vaccination card. card. Mm -hmm. Yes, and we encourage you na fully vaccinated kayo yes. before you enter in our room because and we uh, observe proper protocols. That's of course. right. And let us greet good mornings to all our online viewers here. We have 
um, Luz Bella. From Maasin? From Maasin, from wherever. Wherever <laughs> you are. Know, si, uh, Riza Jean, good morning. And good morning to Jell, of course. Vilia Maville, good morning. Morning. Yes. Sino and pa? Uh, sino pa? Hi, Tita Jen. Good morning. Good Thank morning, God Tita for Jen. today's life and sustaining grace to wow. worship Him. Yeah, we would also like to say a good morning to Riza Jean Kagbay. Yes, good Kahambaya. morning, Riza. Good morning, Riza. GCF. Good morning. And of course, to Janice, to Ma'am Janice Segaya. Good morning. Yeah, uh, we will read later uh, other yes. um, Thanksgiving from mm -hmm. our uh, GCF family. Mm -hmm. But for now, we are going to read the scripture for our giving. Okay, so uh, our scripture is from 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 7 to 8. Each man should give what he has decided in his heart to give, not reluctantly or under compulsion. For God loves a cheerful giver. And God is able to make all grace abound to you, so that in all things at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. So we know praying that God does not look at the amount of how much we give, right? He looks at the conditions of our hearts on, uh, during our giving. That's right. And we have so many ways to give. But let us tell you what are uh, we encouraging. So first, you can give through GCash, of course, because we are turning into a cashless society. Wow. So please transfer or you can give via GCash at what? 0928-712-1833 or through bank transfer, which the bank details will be flashed on your screen at this moment so please take a screenshot so that you will not forget later on and yes. what are, and of course because we have a face-to-face -face gathering na yeah we're excited to invite everyone to please stand up for our um, worshiping through songs that's right everyone in the hall please stand up let us worship God through songs led by our worship team
Good morning, everyone. So I am Princess, and 
Uh, let me share you first why I am here. So just yesterday I got baptized. But thank you, thank you, Jesus. So I'll be sharing to you my testimony. So my life before Jesus. So when I was seven years old, my mother brought me to church. So we were attending a Baptist church at first, but there was a new church near our place. So we started going there. And obviously, when you were a kid, your mother would scold you or bribe you just to attend. So due to her request, I started investing on my attendance and later on became an obligation to me. So it became a habit or a routine to me going to and fro the church, living a life, basically being in the church. I learned how to worship God in that church, read the Bible, engage in leadership seminars or activities, do my devotionals, praying and serving in the ministry. Come grade 6, when I was around 13 to 14 years old, I got baptized in water. It felt a new thing to me. I can even say, I can even remember what I said. I am a new creation now. So that event in my life felt like the opportunity to make myself believe that my sins were washed away, and it's time to start a new life. When you were a kid, especially during church events, you don't want to get behind all others. As for my case, I want to be on top of others, to be chosen, sorry, to be chosen by our pastor. So in order for me to be chosen, I need to be engaged in every activity the church has to offer so in short i got what i wanted i got the high position in the youth department it became it became a habit or a routine to me go, going to and fro the church living a life basically in the church so i learned how to worship god in that church read the bible engage in leadership seminars or activities do my devotionals praying and serving in the mystery have you noticed that i just copied and pasted this previous paragraph from the previous paragraph well because it was the truth i came after i got baptized in water i came back to what I used to. The cycle went on and on after and for six years, but the pretensions became stronger. It came to a point that my father would fetch me in the church, bringing a samurai in the middle of the night and talk to our pastor. pastor uh, how? So during that time, I felt so proud. Um, I was proud because I felt like I am a hardcore Christian and really in love in Jesus. Guess what? It wasn't Jesus I am in love with. It was with all the activities I got involved to. The fame and hearing the praises of men. So in addition, going to church became a concealer of the life I have been living during that time. I lived a life full of lies and rushing. I even talked behind my parents, stole from them, and disobeyed them greatly. People often praised me for of being independent, but they didn't know I am also independent of Christ. I fell in love with money, the pleasures of the world that is giving me, and really living my life sitting on the throne of control make mistakes repent make mistakes again repent that was my life cycle when i was 18 years old i came to iloilo I actually gimaras kami before but uh, yeah iloilo for my studies and got invited here on gcf hall uh, gcf at first i was so arrogant i feel like I already know what the things there are to know. Of course, I went church hopping, displaying my faith on social media, and really concealing the issues I was car carrying. I came to this church with the thought in mind, ah, 
This church is nice. It's fun here. However, during one of the Sunday services, someone shared to me the good news. In my mind, I don't need it anymore. Why are you guys giving me milk when I'm supposed when I'm supposed to be having the meat? Give me the meat. So I just listened in respect to the one talking. However, I went church hopping again post attending GCF Iloilo but God really works in ways I couldn't expect I met Miss Mira again in a concert she invited me back again so I came back together with me I brought a friend come to think of it maybe that's how good I am in pretending sorry and making others believe that I am a hardcore Christian I signed up for GG, but for a friend. I've been praying for the salvation of my friend, that one day she'll get baptized. But later did I know I was the one who's put in this journey. I tried doing stuff I am curious of. I start, it started my rebellion. And yes, I rebelled against God and trying to live my life without Him. I can still remember what I said. Wait lang, Lord, ha? Break muna tayo. I want to try living my life alone. Give me one year, Lord. Balik na lang ako when I'm done. So God knows what I did and what I allowed to happen in my life. I was so self-centered, trying to please the world. My focus was to please people. Well, during that rebellion, I was still sharing God's word to people. Funny enough, I keep sharing to people that Jesus is the way but have no proper understanding of what it meant. I disobeyed and lied to my parents. I went church hopping, maybe trying to find my purpose or the genuine service. Cliche, hinahanap ang sarili. After a year of rebellion, living in the world and for the world, I suddenly felt the shame and guilt. I went through anxiety and literally can't sleep. People finally realized that I am a fraud. I heard people talking behind my back, feeling holy, makasasala man. So, I was betrayed by my closest, consequences of my actions, of course. This, I guess, is a transition. I believe it means breaking to breakthrough. So just last year, I was 21 years old. I got involved in this huge twist in my life. My life savings, all gone. I got scammed. This had been my greatest heartache. Of course, to a self-centered, world-focused, money-driven, and independent of God person like me. I felt like I really lost everything I have been saving up saving up for years. I couldn't face other people because I think of myself as a failure. My pride got knocked down. I couldn't post on Facebook because I thought people will just talk behind my back, reminding me of how great a failure I I was. So in short, natunaw lahat ng sandigan ko, fame, money, independence, control. So I said to myself that that was my greatest breaking. I lost everything. March this year, of course, when you got nothing to do with your life, messy, messy life, you cry. I came crying to my Gigi leader. She shared to me the truth about living a life and making God the center of all the decisions, actions, and really the life, really life as a whole. So I kept attending Gigi sessions. And every time she'd mention about baptism, I have been praying for my friend until I questioned mine. Am I really saved? So I tried to remember the day I professed my faith. I genuinely repented of my sins. Gina, try to remember. I thought I'm just too old to remember. Later on, I realized there's nothing to remember because it just never happened. So I was baptized, yes, but that was just for pride and display purposes. I was serving, yes, but for the fun, fun alone. I was having my devotionals and prayers, but that was for people to see. I couldn't say that my life before was a fake. No, it wasn't a fake. It's just half-baked. 
I wasn't led to an intentional and genuine salvation process. And just this year, finally, by God's grace, I believe truly, truly believed in Jesus. Who knows that I'll be placed on this situation in this situation? But it's my friend's salvation I am praying for. You can never tell God's humor. I just want to tell you that God's love for me is extraordinary. He couldn't let me believe that He could have let me believe that I was saved during my early days. He could have let me enjoy the living for the world and pretending to be a hardcore Jesus lover. However, at this point, I can testify how much He loves me by using unexpected people and circumstances in life to lead me to this path. Yesterday, um, November 27, I got baptized. So now I can tell the world my story, my testimony that once I was lost gracefully, but now I am found. So the Bible verse I have been holding on two that led me to this decision is in john chapter 14 verse 6 jesus answered i am the way and the truth and the life no one comes to the father except through me so nothing could give me this great joy except the joy of believing jesus in my life i am thankful for every person whom god used to lead me to this kind of prayer and decision of course there would be worries shame anxieties having this kind of decision in event in my life that if i am still living for the world i question myself so however that is not the case now my life with jesus now is completely different with the life i had before before i be i believed him so i know that problems will still come challenges will still come but the joy in my heart and my trust in jesus it washes my worries away this decision took me to quit all the little things in my life. This is how serious it is to follow Jesus. And nothing can compare to this beautiful truth I am enjoying. So I, Princess de los Santos, believe in Jesus as my personal Lord and Savior. To God be the glory forever.
your neighbors, no? Dugan nyo na wala nakita for months. Say hello, wave. Good morning sa inyo. Ayan, uh, to, to our people, family, faith family, joining us online. Good life, you know, it's really hard to talk to two audiences, you know. But anyway, to those who are joining us online, good morning, you know. Tag along your friends, we still have a lot of time. Before we do the worship through prayer, I would like you to welcome your friends or and you guys nandito sa room. 
please no put out your cell phones no it's okay to open your cell phones during worship services for the purpose of sharing you know this online service please kung hindi nyo pa na share please do that and tag along five of your friends please 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 all right sige it is thanksgiving sunday and my heart is really overwhelmed to you guys sa online community and kamo mismo kayo na nandito no as uh, your pastor i am really encouraged to see you again no so we seek the lord early and then we go to sm afterwards and i just kidding But uh, it's really so good to see you, no? Uh, Nicole, your siblings, um, uh, Blossom and kids and children. It's really so good to see you. Sila Neil, uh, Nanay Anne Rose, na- na- Nanay, uh, Pibuch and family. Ayan. And uh, si Mav, oh, this is your first time joining us online, hindi? Ah, for in person, our oh, first time. So welcome, Ayan, oh, please. Ayan. Okay, si Crystal representing Captentic. Okay, Dexter, thank you. Brother Neil, sino pa ang wala ko na mention na dito sa room. And of course, to you guys online, I could see you there, Kagina. Uh, Brother Stan, oh, the Palisada family, <laughs> Jello and Stan, uh, good morning. And uh, our faith family sa Bacolod, sa Legaspi, sa Singapore, no? And uh, who else? Um... Uh, kung nasaan man kayo, please, uh, uh, just just type in there, worshiping from, joining from, okay? Sige. So, anyway, again, um, I hope this is not your last time going out, ha? Um, habang uh, the protocols are being observed and then the government is allowing us to do this, we will follow, we will uh, we will uh, do whatever it takes na maka-worship tayo. So, please, and by the way, no, um, it's not a requirement na we are in this one room. There is an extra room, an overflow room sa kabila. So, it's just that there's no live person doing that. So, there's a, a screen going on sa kabila. So, if you are not comfortable being here gusto mo ng space and coffee coffee is there sa kabila you can you can go there honestly i'm not get offended okay nicole you go all right but you seriously seriously na para ma decompress ang room na to this is very small room okay but it's okay lang no yan sige but uh uh just ano a, 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 a brief exercise before we pray i hope um we can do this together in a few minutes Can you think of uh, something that you are thankful for, the Lord? Something, um, thankful for someone or thankful for somewhere, no? a place. We are thankful to the Lord for um, the people that He has brought into our lives. We are thankful for the Lord for something that has happened in the past. We are thankful for the Lord for this place, di ba? No? All right, after we left uh, uh, La Paz, We know already that the Lord is uh, bringing us in a very strategic place. Now, hindi tayo pinabayaan ni Lord. One month lang tayo na stale. We did not have a, a home. But uh, again, I'm just really thankful na God has given us this place na we, we could fellowship in person together. Okay? Sige. So, do you have, I hope you have something in your mind that you're thankful for. Okay? You think about that before we proceed and we're gonna pray together. So, pwede niyong dagdagan yung line na I'm thankful for uh, these people. No? And and by that by this exercise, I'm not asking you to think yung mga immediate usual na na people who are surrounding you. The people na no, thank God for 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 the people na na you're you're encountering on a daily basis, regular basis, pero you, you're not thanking them like you know, you you thank the the people that are serving you. No? Uh, thank you, Lord, for the um, uh, nagkukumute ka every day. Thank you, Lord, for for uh, the jeepneys, for the buses. Thank you, Lord, for uh, the people who are serving me sa, you know, nagbalik na kita sa mga no, eating outside. The, say, the security guards are opening your doors, di ba? People are serving you in the restaurants. Yung mga unusual na tao na na namimit niyo, but you're not thankful. Thank you, Lord, for the weather, for the sunrise, for the sunsets. All right. Thank you for for the opportunity to be in the church. Thank you, Lord, for and eto pa. Think of how you can thank the Lord sa mga tao na tumulong sa Thank you, Lord, for these people who helped me. Okay, okay. Do you have somebody in mind, no? or a place, or something that has happened that you're, you're really thankful for? Okay. 
Sige, let us uh, join together as we uh, pray a prayer of thanksgiving before we pray for a couple of things. Would you, would you please join me now? A loving Father, we thank you. Our hearts, we, we, we join together to honor you for what you have done in our lives. We're thankful for the people that we we thankful we're thankful for you for there are people you have brought in our lives that we do not uh, usually thank them on a regular basis because we just don't notice them in the uh, busyness of life the people who are serving us the people who helped us even in our lowest uh, lowest parts of our lives the people who are praying for us people who are mentoring us teaching us and even thank you lord for for the people who are rebuking us, correcting us. We thank you, Lord, for this church. We thank you, Lord, for even the failures, for they have taught us to draw nearer and closer to you. We thank you, Lord, for our pastors, for our growth group leaders. We thank you, Lord, for our spouses, for our children. We thank you, Lord. We still get to live another day today. COVID has taken a lot of lives, but you have allowed us to live yet another day today. And so we do not want to live for ourselves. We want to live for you. Thank you, Lord, for your sustaining grace upon the students who has gone through a lot of, of uh, very strict lockdowns. And they are now able to get out and do their thing and visit people, visit their relatives. Thank you, Lord for sustaining the students even those who have lost their jobs thank you lord for sustaining them as well thank you lord for the mothers the fathers who are so patient with us thank you lord for technology thank you lord for the internet thank you lord for our cell phones that we get to be connected together even I means in despite of the disconnection that has brought about by the pandemic and Father, we thank you for saving our souls. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for forgiving us. Thank you for sending us a deliverer, a Messiah, Jesus Christ, your Son, who bled, who suffered, and died at the cross of Calvary. But victoriously, he rose up again because he is God. Thank you, Father for saving us. Thank you for the Holy Spirit helping us to do what is hard to do in the flesh. Thank you, Lord, for sustaining those people from the anxieties, depression, anxiety attacks, panic attacks. Thank you, Lord, for sustaining each one of us who has gone through mental struggle. But Lord, you're faithful. We are just here, even though some, uh, uh, maybe some of us contemplated half-heartedly not to go or to go here in this church but lord you have brought us here and our hearts are joined together to honor you individually and corporately as a church thank you for your faithfulness thank you for the struggles thank you for the pain thank you for the for the problem and i know lord that in the process your presence never leaves us and so father this morning before we offer you anything we would like to acknowledge that you will never ever despise a broken spirit a broken spirit oh god you will never despise a broken heart a broken spirit you will never despise and so lord we come before you we humble ourselves before you forgive us and cleanse us lord if there's anything that in our hearts that is not right with you honor our worship our praises thank you lord we continue to pray for our government Continue to sustain our president, the cabinet members, the police, and the military. Keep them safe, their families. And also, Lord, protect them sa mga operations nila. And Lord, continue to guide them with wisdom that comes from you. Protect them from corrupt people. And continue to, to bless them as they get rid of this country of crime, corruption, criminality, and COVID. The frontliners, we remember, and we are thankful for them, Lord. Continue to sustain them and provide their needs. The doctors, nurses, health workers, our local government units, our Congress uh, woman, governor, and our beloved City Mayor Jerry Trenyas. Thank you, Father, for sustaining him, his family, his children, his work. 
as a church we lift him up to you regularly because he is the one whom you have given to us as the father of this city and so we cover him in prayers surround him with godly people dear father and we thank you lord for the three members who are uh, who currently joined officially the gcf family for princess for jomar for alvin father continue to sustain them as they uh, continue to walk in newness of life protect them from lies the lies of satan continue to accomplish the work that you've started in their lives and also father we pray that you will prepare our hearts as we listen to your word through your servant anoint him with a special blessing that comes from you our hearts are ready teach us override these preparations but uh, may your spirit lead him and, and, and correct us instruct us rebuke us through your word through him in jesus name we pray Amen and amen. All right. Good morning, everyone. So this is our Thanksgiving Sunday, and uh, I am very thankful, first of all, yesterday I celebrated my birthday for plus years. And uh, thank you for those who have greeted. I'm sorry, I haven't checked yet the messenger. Some of you I've replied, but I'm thankful to be here. It's a privilege to uh, share God's word. And I'm thankful that we have, we can celebrate our Thanksgiving together. So, a couple of months, it was weird because uh, we were just shooting in the, we did all the production in the apartment, just kami lang ni James. But I am thankful that you are here. Uh, my family is here, my mom. Ari di siya. And uh, I'm thankful that God is faithful to us, sa family namon. Uh, we are all safe wherever they may be, in outside the country, in Manila, in Negros, and even here in Iloilo City. So that's what I am thankful for. But as we start, I have a question for you. You can answer in the comment section or you can just ponder here in our church hall. Have you ever experienced or had experienced broken promises broken vows i think this is these experiences are one of the most memorable experiences diba we can recall vividly sometimes and sometimes these are just unmet expectations unkept promises or it might be a betrayal by someone like when we were growing up, for example, we found out that Santa Claus was not really real. Well, if you're kids, I'm sorry. <laughs> Spoiler alert. When our friends did not show up on our birthday. Or when our parents broke their promise to buy us anything. Ice cream, toys, or whatever we want. You no, know, just to keep us calm, shut us up. But sometimes there is a special someone who can break or broke your heart. Immediately, you change status, you delete the memories. That's why we can easily relate to telenovelas, right? Korean novelas, series, or even as the campaign is going on, election is fast approaching, politicians who oversells their campaign but under delivers. Just like the saying, mga pangako na 
palaging napapako. Or it can be an experience online. Currently, we have Facebook or social media scam, investment scam. So, did you know that there is a high level of percentage that human trafficking, no, they use social media scams. Um, recently, my uncle was also had his Facebook account hacked. No, His name was still there, but it was a different person. So, the list of terrible promises and betrayals can go on, right? We can recall, and I don't want to pinch um, any memories, but the main factor usually is the reputation. It's not, the problem is not really the promise itself, right? No, wala problema sa promise, but it's the keeper of the promise. No, if he will push through with that promise. It's the reputation of a person. And many of you can relate with bad reputation. You get hurt, you moved on, you learned your lesson. And how did it mold you? I've experienced some, but that's for a different time, a different uh, platform. But how did it mold you? Were you still thankful to God? Can you still say to the Lord, thank you, Lord, that could have been worse. Can you say to God, despite the bad experience, it might be traumatic to some, you can say, Lord, thank you, I am still spared. You can still thank you, Lord, for your grace. Thank you, Lord, that I can still continue on with my life. I can still pick up myself. I still have a chance, and I have learned. So even in this time of pandemic, despite the person who hurt you, despite whatever politician you voted, despite the broken vows or promises, you know what? There is something permanent. There are still promise, promises that will be permanent. And there is worthy, there is someone who is worthy of all our praises because he is a promise keeper. Now, there's a passage that we can learn that can help us Please open your Bibles in Psalm 146. If you're online, please check it out. Better if you have your own copies. You can write on the notes. So that again, our, our passage is at Psalm 146, 146. In verse 1, it says, you can read with me, Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, O my soul. Verse 2, I will praise the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God while I have my being. I was, I'm reading in the English Standard Version. Now, in the verses 1 and 2, here is a call. Here is an invitation to praise God, to give thanks through song, right? We can easily relate to love songs when we hear them. It might be breakup songs. It might be joyful songs. But can we recall or can we have this immediate reflex, okay? Recall and reflex to praise God. We can praise God when we are heartbroken, when our spirit is weak, when we have unmet expectations. Can we still worship the Lord? Can we still bless the Lord with 10,000 reasons? Now, here is a call in verse 1 and 2 to rejoice. With all my soul, he says. So, question, when should we praise God? In verse 1 and 2, we should worship or praise God, give thanks to Him all the time. Whatever circumstances it might be, bad, good, it says here, praise God. Now continue on, verse 3 and 4. Put not your trust in princes, in a son of man in whom there is no salvation. Verse 4, when his breath departs, he returns to the earth. On that very day, his plans perish. Now this is a turning point. So sometimes we cannot praise God all the time, right? So why? Why can't we praise God all the time? Because, verse 1 and 2, there is a hindrance. 
there is a hindrance because we put our trust not on God. We have misplaced trust. We put our trust on princess. Well, not princess, did they, you know, but it says here the people, on man, on their promises. That's why we have misplaced trust. We cannot praise God all the time. But in verse 5, it says here, Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord his God. Verse 6, who made heaven and earth, the sea in all that is in them, who keeps faith forever. Now, it says, it says here, or who should we praise here? Well, there is a stark contrast between the preceding verses, we trust in princes and men, but here it refocuses us to whom we should praise. We should praise God alone. So why can we praise God? We can praise God all the time because it says there in verse 5 and 6, He is God all the time. Okay? Can you please tell your seatmate, He is God all the time. God is God all the time. Or you can write it in the comment section. It means that He is the leader he is the ruler of everything. He says here he created the heavens and the earth. He is in control of all things. He is the almighty God, the creator, the sustainer, and the promise keeper. So we can praise God all the time because he is God all the time. Verses 7, 8, and 9. It starts, who executes justice for the oppressed? Who gives food to the hungry? The Lord sets the prisoners free. The Lord opens the eyes of the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord watches over the sojourners. He upholds the widow and the fatherless. But the way of the wicked he brings to ruin. Now we can praise God all the time here in these verses because first he is God all the time. Here he is good all the time okay we can praise god all the time because he is good all the time now if you can observe there is a group of people here the blind the oppressed the hungry the prisoners the bow down the sojourners the widow and the fatherless who are these people they are the weak the helpless the hopeless it might be me it might be you we can relate to this but it says their god is good to them all the time so we can praise God all the time because God is good all the time and the last verse here in verse 10 the Lord will reign forever your God O Zion to all generations praise the Lord he closes with a renewed passion of praise to God alone he says praise God and praise God right now okay tell your seatmates please praise God right now you can type in the comment section, praise God right now. It is our Thanksgiving Sunday. Now, our main theme for this passage, sometimes we limit our Thanksgiving to God. Why? Because we trust people's limitations. Again, we limit our Thanksgiving to God when we trust in people's limitations. But we have unlimited reasons to praise him because of his reputation. Again, we have unlimited reasons to praise him because of his reputation. But it can be coined in a simple statement, we have unlimited praises to a, to a limitless God. Again, we have unlimited praises to a limitless God. Now, for a recap of the passage, now when should we praise God? Again, as I've mentioned, when should we praise God? All the time. But there is a hindrance. Why can't we praise God all the time? Because sometimes we trust in people. Okay? Or we can ask ourselves, where do we put our pride? No? Where, we do, where do we take pride sometimes? 
or where do we take our or where do we find our protection? Now in verse 3 it says, Put not your trust in princes, in a son of man, in whom there is no salvation. Now, who are these princes? As mentioned in verse 3. It can be, okay, uh, money, no, ko na siya. No? Padron ko na siya. It can be your connection. It can be your safety net. No? Backup plan. These are persons in authority. No? Persons in power, influence, money. Or it can be some someone no, that you can brag that, okay, I'm connected with this person. No, we are friends in Facebook. It can be friends of friends. It can be friends of friends of friends of friends, but we still take pride, right? No, amigo. Kung na siya sang amigo, sang amigo, sang amiga, sang... Okay, gets nyo? Sometimes, it can even be our relatives. Okay, relatives in the cas can be our cousins, no, in the second degree, third degree, can be in the 19th degree, but still we say, uh, he's my relative, okay? No, this person, this popular person, we're, we're good, he's my relative. So we brag about it. But we fail to realize that they are just people. They are just people. They are imperfect. They are prone to sin. They are prone to wander. They are prone what, to break their promises. It can be also relatable to us. We can be that person. No? Other person claims not to know us. So we are so confident on humans that we put our plans and promises to them. Or others put their expectations on us. But the Bible says in verse 4, still we are in Psalm 146, when his breath departs, okay, he returns to the earth. On that very day, his plans perish. No man dies. Okay, that's a fact. Man dies and everything with it. Everything is dissolved. Diba? In the wedding vows, till death, do you part? Do us part? No, death is the end in the world. But we have to learn, again, that man is limited. Okay, we are prone to change, right? We change our minds, we change our emotions. Okay, boss, ma, ma white ko, ma black ko. Boss, I will buy in Shopee or boss. Diba? We are emotional beings. We are prone to change. So please do not limit your praises. Do not limit your thanksgiving to God because you've trusted in that person. You know, sometimes we owe a debt, we owe someone a favor but it limits our praises and thanksgiving to God. So you can be, you can limit your praise and thanksgiving to God because of man's limitation. So, who should we praise? Who should we praise? God alone. So, why should we praise God alone? Okay, I've said it. Why should we praise God alone? Because He is God all the time. In Psalm 146, 5 and 6, Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord this God, who made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that is in them, who keeps faith forever. He is a promise keeper. And that is his character. Okay? He is the great Lord. He is the God of the Bible. So do you know really, do you know how great really is God? No, his attributes, his character, that you can place, you can place your confidence only in him. Now, why can we praise God? Okay, earlier I said, why should we praise God? Because he is God all the time. We should praise God because he is God. And why can we praise God? There's a difference. Why can we praise God? Because he is good all the time. What he does, or what he has done for us. So seven and nine, okay. It's some. This is just a summary in verses seven and nine. He cares. He just cares for us. He cares for those who are oppressed, hungry, prisoners, the blind, bow down, sojourners, the widow, the fatherless, those who are weak. If you are feeling weak, if you are one of these people, the helpless, the hopeless. 
He is good all the time. So we put our trust in the qualities and attributes of God and His unchanging and constant actions towards those He loves. Now, can you observe that? Because God is good and He is God all the time. Now, we can really trust in Him. Now, what do you have this bank, spiritual bank, spiritual store, storage of who God is and what He has done? Okay, if you are GCF or this is a test for you, we have these assurances, right? How many are there? How many assurances do we have in our GGs? Four? How many? Higher. Who says five? Okay, we have five. Now, if you are a GCFer, you should know this. This is very foundational for us. This is how we know God for who He is and what He has done. So what is the first assurance? Assurance of salvation. What's the verse? 1 John 5. Who can recite? And this is? Okay, all together. And this life is in His Son. He who has the Son has life. He who does not have the Son of God does not have life. What an amazing thing to think about. God's assurance of salvation for us. What's the next assurance? Okay. Assurance of answered prayer. What's the verse? Okay, GCF, you can do better. John 16:24. Who can recite? Everybody. Until now you have not asked for anything in my name. As you will receive and your joy will be com- What an assurance that we can thank God. Okay, very basic. There we have assurance that God listens and answers our prayers only if we call upon His name. What's the next assurance? Assurance of victory. Now this is a longer verse. What's the verse? If you know it online, you can type it. No, but honestly, type it verbatim. First Corinthians ten thirteen. What's the verse? What does it say? No temptation has ceased you except what is common to man, and God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear, but when you are tempted, He will also provide a way so that you can stand up under it. We only f- have five assurances. And if we can just go back to it time and time again, we have many things to praise and thank God for. Now, isn't that amazing that we have a helper in times of trials, in times of temptations? He can give us what? He can give us the strength to overcome trials and temptations. He can give us the endurance to overcome trials and temptations and it keeps on getting better we have assurance of forgiveness first john 1 9 we have assurance of guidance proverbs 6 proverbs 3 5 and 6 if you are a gcfer you will not have no you will not be limited of what you can be thankful for because of these foundational verses now in regards to our passage we can see the difference between god's reputation than man's limitation, right? Now these, even five assurances, they are sure foundation. Instead of just, you know, a promise. A promise by a person. And this is our assurance because God is trustworthy and rather than man's uncertainty, right? We know even in ourselves that we are uncertain when we keep promises or when should we keep our promises it shows that god is reliable and god is immutable what does it mean immutable god is an unchanging god not like us we have we change our minds we change our emotions we change our moods but you know what we tend to forget we tend to forget even these assurances that's why we are required to memorize them right we might have forgotten who, who God is and what He has done. 
even in this pandemic, you know, we might have forgotten what it's like two years ago, right? We can just talk about it. No, two years ago, before the pandemic, this is what we used to do. What was normal back then, we might have forgotten to breathe properly because of the face mask that is regulated, the face shields. But thank God, no, we don't wear our face shields anymore. We might have forgotten to groom ourselves properly, right? Because of the online meetings, okay, no, half part lang, naka prepare. You don't know, know how to wear your pants anymore or to wear your shoes anymore or even take a bath. No? Kaysa online na, hindi mo na bala nun. They can smell me. No? During this pandemic, we might have forgotten to connect with people. Connect with people in person. Maybe because of this social distancing that we have. We have forgotten what's the feeling to hang out. Diba? Not to make eye contact. We might have lost some friends. We don't know anymore how to make friends, new friends. We might have lost sight of our relationships. We don't go to church. In the past two months, no, we, have, we don't have church. But even when we are allowed, sometimes, no, we don't have the, the strength or it has been a habit to us that we join online worship with our ambaling Pastor Mark with our pajamas. We forgot what fellowship is like. No, magtambay sa church or play board games. Eat food together. But it can be a sad part when we forget to trust God anymore or to thank God anymore even in this pandemic. Now, sometimes we become so afraid, we become so paranoid, we become so anxious, more of this virus. There's a new variant. A, a variant. We trust more on the news, you know, what people say, studies, practices, protocols. And sometimes we forget that God's word is supreme. He is still in control, the creator, sustainer, protector of everything. We follow faithfully man-made rules, Right? And sometimes you forget to follow God. So you might ask yourself, how is the condition of our hearts when we are thankful? Or how can we still be thankful and faithful to God despite all of this? Now we might get overcrowded. Now we have panic attacks, problems, worries. But there's this one story I've read. He's a famous Hollywood star. No, actually, he's an Avenger, if you're a fan. He starred in the Guardians of the Galaxy. I will not mention his name, but you can uh, check him out. He had many criticisms, actually, because of his public figure as a Hollywood actor, but he is open to his Christian faith. And he says one time, I'll just read to you what he said. I went to bed last night really kind of upset and depressed. Remember, this is a Hollywood star. And I woke up feeling crappy and I didn't want to work out. I knew, though, that if I put on my Christian music playlist and I got out of the woods and ran, that I'd feel better. But I, ju I, did, I just didn't want to. But he continued and I did it anyway. And gosh, was I right. It felt amazing. I got out of the woods, got my blood pumping. The moment it really captured me, and so I just want to say, all glory to God. And he closes with this, get some exercise, maybe listen to some good worship music, or maybe get the word in, because it really helped me this morning. Remember, this is a famous Hollywood star. He could have done anything, right? He could have bought something. You know, to make him feel better, bought another house. You know, he, may, he could have indulged himself just to feel better. He was depressed. He could have found pleasures in the world. He had the money, he had the power, he had the influence. But he posted this online, he says, all glory to God, despite of his feelings. Now, 
we can all grab no, a piece of promise. If we just read the Psalms, no, almost every Psalm in the Bible has a promise, a praise and thanksgiving to God. No, there are 150 chapters. You can read it and you can just, there is unlimited praises because God is limitless. So just go back to the truth. Okay? Just go back to God. His assurances, as I've mentioned. And you know what? We are thankful that we have this church. No, we don't just make you feel good. Okay? It is not a make, uh, um, uh, will make you feel good uh, if you are down. We don't make entertainment here no, just to cheer you up. We're not a dancing church. We're, we're not no professional musicians. We're not, we don't have the finest equipment. No, we do what we can. We are an imperfect church. But you know what? What we can be thankful for? Our foundation to God's promises. And that's what we can praise and thank God even in this season. We are thankful for what? Our GG leaders who always, what? they keep on following us up, no? checking us, checking if how's our condition, diba? We have church leaders. No, we, I mean, we, we can all look at this property, no, the people around us, we can come and go. But you know what? The precious promises of God will last forever. Now, let me end with this in verse 10. The Lord will reign forever, your God, O Zion, to all generations. Now, this is why we are here as a church. Now, we are thankful that we have a family that we can rely on. Yesterday, during baptism, even sa interview with the new, be, uh, new members, people just come and go. Uh, these new believers might even leave the church someday. We don't know. But the church is here to stay. The church will always, always have your back. And you know what? We are thankful for our pastor. He says the only gift that he can give to us is his impeccable time with God. So that's what we can be thankful for. We have many things to thank God for, even eternal things, because God will reign forever. All glory to Him. So this is a time to celebrate. I know we have a uh, fellowship later, hopefully, with our protocols. We have food later, but we can celebrate God and His Word. That's why our worship is called worship celebration because we celebrate God for who He is and what He has done. We have unlimited praises to a limitless God. So let us praise Him right now. Let us praise Him as a family, as a church. Let's close in prayer. Lord, thank you that we are here as a faith family. You have gathered us, Lord, to praise, proclaim, and give thanks to your name. Lord, despite the pandemic, even up until now, you have preserved us. Lord, it could have been worse. I'm not sure of any specific experiences that we have in each uh, person here, but Lord, we have unlimited praises because we have a limitless God. You have limitless promises to us, O oh Lord. And even just being present here in this moment, being alive, breathing the air, Lord, you've given us the grace, the time, the, all the blessings we could count, all the people that we have, our families and friends. Lord, we are just still thankful, Lord. So God, we are sorry. We confess if we have been prideful prideful because Lord we have put our trust on ourselves on men on our plans on other people's plans and Lord you've said in your word this will just all perish and Lord sometimes we can even blame you for these circumstances but Lord if we just put our trust on you put our help put our hope 
Lord, we can just glorify you in every moment of our lives because, Lord, you are the God who is always God and who is always good to us. Lord, we could, we could not even fathom the grace that you've given to us through Jesus Christ that we are saved and we are gathered, Lord, because of his name. And, Lord, we continue to exist as a church, as a Christian, because, Lord, of your grace. So, God, may it break us. May it break us into thanksgiving and to humbly come with gratitude, O Lord. May we can recall your assurances. Lord, we are thankful for your salvation. We are thankful that you have answered our prayers. We are thankful that we can overcome any obstacle, circumstances, the endurance, Lord, you give us. We are thankful that you are ready to forgive us. We are thankful, O God, that you are our guide. Holy Spirit, Lord, gives us the wisdom, the strength when we obey and follow you faithfully. Lord, even if we are not, because, Lord, you are just a gracious God. You choose. There is no condition of your love, your blessing, Lord, to us. So, Lord, we are thankful to be here. Lord, we're not just thankful because it, thanks, it is thanksgiving, but, Lord, we can be thankful because our hearts are filled. We're thankful because we have a relationship with you. We are thankful and joyful despite of all what's going on around us. The storms of life, even the health storm. Wave after wave, we may, may not expect what will happen. But Lord, you've said in your word, your word will never fade away. We can keep hold on your promises because, Lord, you are a promise keeper to us. Lord, thank you. So, Lord, may you have been glorified. And, Lord, help us. Remind us always to have a spirit of gratitude, a spirit of humility, a spirit of always praising you without limit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Good.
Thank you for that, Pastor Joe, and for the insights, of course. Let's compete next, Char. Competition. <laughs> okay, so what have you learned? Okay, ako muna. Sige, ka muna. <laughs> Do not trust in Princess and Nicole. <laughs> <laughs> Do not trust sa mga tao, ganun. And not really do not trust, ha, but fully trust yes. talaga. But uh, we need to uh, put our full trust on God. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, that's really true. So don't copy me, okay? I'm not copying you. <laughs> but um, my insight is that no matter how close you are to that person, no matter how, how close your relationship is, you cannot still guarantee that um, you can fully trust that person. Just like... um. We should put our trust in our limitless God. Amen. Yes, who has uh, given us all the assurances. So, bakit ka pa maghahanap ng iba, di ba? When you have God. <laughs> Lahat talaga. Mga hugot mo talaga, Nix. Okay. Okay. Speaking of trust, mm-hmm. someone trusted us to share the wow. Thanksgiving messages. Sige. So, first... Umahabol. Umahabol. So, first, uh, Tita Tata. Hi, princess. Sorry, late. Hi. <laughs> One liner lang. Jokes. Paragraph gita ni Iya. But the message Thank you for making me a part of the GCF family, too. Yeah, we wow. miss you, Tita Tata. Yes, we miss Manila. you, Tita. And who there's else? An- another one from Ian Song. I am thankful for all the provisions God gave me this year. For the friends, good health, and the church family. Yes, we are also thankful for this family that we have and we are in right now. And let us greet our um, online viewers here. Uh, Leslie Sumbang. Hi, Les. Welcome. And um, to... Who else? Aimi. Aimi Kaladkad. Manang Aimi, the friend of Manang Sanalin. Okay. Welcome. 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 And for the reminders, to those who watched or joined late because they still, they haven't had their coffee, so. Yes, or their alarm didn't. Yeah, no, nakatulog sila. But don't fret, guys. We have our worship replay yes. on YouTube later at 5, 5 p.m. p.m. And don't so, forget to subscribe, guys. Yes, that's right. Subscribe, share to your friends. And, yeah, and greetings uh, to our GCF Himamayalan. They sent uh, Pastor Mark a picture wow. together, man, sila. We are we are thankful, no? Yeah. yeah. Hi to you guys, and thank you for staying. Yes. Thank until you. we end. Yes. Okay. And so another reminder: our online guest room. This is especially for those who are new to GCF. Since in the face to face, but we have our servant friends. Mm-hmm. But in online, um, aside from that, we have this online guest room wherein you can meet the some of the GCFers and that we can welcome you. We can have um small uh, or like mini games, right, Princess? Yes. And it will be on first and third Wednesdays of the month on Zoom meetings. Yeah, save your Wednesdays. And of course, um, to our on in person yes. worshippers, still there, still there, subong, no? still, still, there. Yeah. <laughs> still there, guys. I know you are still um, getting used mm-hmm. to waking up so early, dressing yes. up, and going to church. And well, you can actually sleep with your face mask. But I really <laughs> do hope na hindi kayo nakatulog up to mm-hmm. this time. Mm-hmm. Okay, so please do not leave, ha, guys. Wag muna kayo. Wag yes. Muna kaming iwan mamaya, okay? Yeah, because why? Because later we will have our right hand of fellowship to welcome the three new members of GCF, Princess Manong Jomar and Manong Alvin. So don't leave after the service. And uh, of course, because we want to see your faces, yes. pa, because um, you know, it's been a so long bong time. Na lang yeah. It's been a long time. So we want to um, connect with Bond you face with to you face. Again. That's right. And play man. games. <laughs> 
Let's play games. The Daniel, right? <laughs> we will play a game later. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, and uh, for the processing time yes. to all our regular viewers out there, mm -hmm. you know the drill. And of course, to our in person yeah. worshipers. Grab a par partner now. Grab a partner, but of course, observe proper protocols. Mm -hmm. And for the processing time, we have there our one inspiration. And, and one, one application. application for our one inspiration it's our insight mm -hmm. and for our one application that is of course the application of so our so how insight. can you put it in life this week specifically mm -hmm. You, you have to share it with your partner or to those who are watching online. Kung sino, to those who you tagged earlier in the comment section, you can message them, ask them if they really watch the worship service and ask them about their one inspiration and one, and application. one application. Also, you may, you may send your one inspiration on our social media True. accounts. On Facebook mm -hmm. at give, uh, at GCF yeah. mm -hmm. Ilo Ilo, sorry for that, and on Instagram at GCF Ilo Ilo. Yes, or if you post something on your stories or on your um status on Facebook or Instagram, you can tag guys in this social media account so that we can repost it so that others can be blessed as well with your application and. Uh, insight. That's right. And so uh, once again, I am Princess. And I am Nicole. Happy Thanksgiving. Sunday. Sunday. Bye-bye. Graphic. <laughs>